Hey guys, Steve here. So, definitely sorry about the overall quality. It's, uh, it's getting pretty dark. It's getting pretty dark over here without Crow. I don't have, uh, I don't have any expertise on editing or lighting or anything of the sort, so, uh, just bear, bear with me. But, hey, let's go ahead and, uh, let's get this unboxed. So for this girl, uh, she is going to be a monotone type, uh, which I don't know if it means that she's deaf or something. I'll try talking to her after I build her. Uh, but she's going to come with these MSG parts, so she's going to have the hand cannon. And then she is also going to have the shield right down here, as you can see. And then just some extra little armor parts here and there. Also, multiple different colors. So hey, if you uh, just not feeling the pink, you can go ahead and get with the yellow or get with the blue. It's like having three different girlfriends all in one. So her actual retail is about 5,500 yen, and I've, I've found some places that she actually sells for about that much. So if you can find her for this much, then that's pretty much what you're gonna be paying uh, average retail for. And here you can see she's gonna have multiple different face plates, and she's gonna have water slide decals for, um, for the panties. And looking at the front and rear side, she's going to look pretty damn cool. She has those shields that basically attaches to the shoulder armor. She's going to have the shoulder cannon and that overall white tone with the clear kind of like gray or uh, I guess gunmetal look of the shields and the guns and everything. It's going to look pretty damn cool and the pistols I'm definitely down for. And like all frame armor girls, she's going to have the little stocking kind of little gimmick. And option parts are going to include all the different hair colors, so you can have your assortment of Power Rangers. And the little MSG parts are included, such as the shields, the hand cannons, and the little machine gun at the bottom. And here is Runner A, so Runner A is going to have a lot of the flesh tone colors. It is going to have a couple of little like spots for joints, but other than that, that's, that's pretty much all it for Runner A. And Runner B is going to be milky white armor. Looks pretty good. Uh, pretty much is going to make up most of the armor and the shoulder cannon right there. And next is going to be two Runner C's. Both going to be milky white armor as well. And here are your D plates. So D is just going to be all three. Just your hair. So that's pretty much it for these. Definitely going to be pretty awesome to uh, interchange them and just have uh, different personalities for each one. And Runner E is just going to be a black piece, so uh, this is going to have a lot of your more default stuff that comes with the Frame Arms Girl, so you have like your waist and all that up there. Uh, but then down here you're going to have like the stocking and pretty much the fixed leg. Two Runner Fs is going to make up some of the joints and uh, just some other little small armor parts. And Runner G is going to be a gray part, so this is just going to be used for more little armor pieces here and there. Two Runner H pieces, which is going to be for the tracks on the legs. Going back to Runner E, these are going to be some of the parts for the shield. You're going to have two of these. Runner I is going to be the panties. And here are going to be the SMG 24 parts, so basically your little handguns and your machine guns. A polycap sheet, multiple different hands, and lastly you're going to have your different face plates. And here's the water slide decals, and of course the manual. Well that's it for me guys. So. Uh, just drop in the comments if you want to know something in particular about this kit. Uh, if you have any questions, definitely let me know and I'll address it in the review. But other than that, I'll be seeing y'all in the uh, review probably in a couple of days. So, see you guys later. Bye-bye.